Welcome and thank you for joining us. Have you ever been in the process of creating a schedule? And you realize, I need to make some changes here. Now, how difficult are these changes going to be? Well, some of the changes you can do with some of the added functionality in P6 and make things a lot easier. For example, I have some new activities for scaffolding in my little sample file here. And if I look at the activity IDs, I'm thinking, hmm, didn't get that quite right. I need to change those. Well, I can select all those activity IDs. And you have access to edit, renumber activity IDs. So maybe these activity IDs, there's, a, there's many, many different possibilities here, but I'll just go with a very simple change. Now, perhaps what we need is to replace some of the letters. Well, these particular ones start with an A. I actually need to replace the A with C, B. And there we go. So that piece was quick, fairly easy. Now I'm looking at the scaffold numbers I have in these little sample activities. And again, I do need to make some changes. Now, it could be that you were given some information that wasn't 100% correct to begin with. You could be using a piece of information activities from a completed file, and the file was for different activity IDs, different um, scaffold numbers, but the work, the resources, the coding, the logic, all the same. So what we can do is if I go and change my numbers in my activities. P6 will help me with that as well. All I have to do is say replace. So if where I've got A, B, A, I actually need A, B, B. I can have the software do that for me as well. So I can say replace all. Now, I can even quickly change, just as an example, if I've got these elements, these activities in this particular WBS and I look at it and go, you know what, that's not the right one. Well, I can fix that as well. So if this one isn't the correct one, putting the WBS in a column, I can just double click. And if that particular one wasn't the right one, and in effect it was supposed to be Site 2, but it was supposed to be Stage 2, then I can go down and change that. And even if, whoops, I can select the one that changed, and I can select the others even if I didn't have the auto reorganize off and I've got them in the right group now. So just a few examples of some very easy editing in P6. We have some contact information on the screen. If you have any P6 questions or questions about any of the Emerald tools, please feel free to reach out to us. Happy to discuss any questions or any information or questions about the tools themselves. So please feel free to reach out. Thank you.